What do we know about the morality police? Have they been disbanded? Not at all. To be honest, um, we Iranians were um, shocked that we saw this headline is going around everywhere around the world that the morality police has been abolished the day that Iranian regime actually shut down uh, one, um, you know, park just because one of the employees was unveiled. You know, let me be very clear with you. This was a big lie, but at the same time, um, Iranian regime knows that when they are in crisis, how to use propaganda tactic to change the narrative around the world and within the society, there was a three days of call for action for nationwide strikes. And that's why they were trying to uh, to calm down the protesters. This is not going to happen because compulsory hijab is, I mean, according to the law, if women don't wear hijab, they won't be able to get any education. They won't be able to get a job. So this was part of the propaganda move by the Islamic Republic. You have said uh, from the start that this protest uh, quickly became bigger than the issue of the hijab and that it is actually about the regime itself. Exactly. I mean, that's why we got shocked when we saw that New York Times title was like the victory for Iranians. I was like, what kind of journalism is that? Why you don't do any research about it? There was no single slogan about uh, you know, Iranian people like asking for morality police to be abolished or there is no single slogan in the streets that you hear uh, like people saying that we want to get rid of compulsory job laws. Clearly, the protests started because of the brutal death of Mahsa Amini, 20 year old woman in uh, morality police custody. But immediately, people were uh, loud and clear enough to say that we want an end for the Islamic Republic. We want to get rid of the clerical regime. And you know what happened? In two months, Iranian regime killed more than 500 people, uh, arrested 18,000 peaceful protesters, and the members of the parliament actually uh, signed a letter to the judiciary system to execute some of these protesters. Then how come such a regime come up with the idea saying that per, we want to get rid of morality police? No, this is clear that when the dictators are shaken, when the dictators are in crisis, then they use um, you know propaganda tool to spread disinformation around the world. This is what Putin has been doing. What uh, you know the dictator of China has been doing. This is what Maduro has been doing. And Khamenei's gang of killers are good to to use uh, international media to spread disinformation and fake news.